design is seen as an outcome in that question. Whereas I think design is a process. It's a way of thinking. It's a way of life. You know, we've always lived like that. Okay, for thousands and I think at least in our culture and all ancient cultures, design was a way of life. You know, design is an adjective where it's a way of doing things. You know, so today it's been interpreted as aesthetics and beauty and things like that. But I think great solutions always land up looking beautiful. You know, and great solutions are the ones that are inclusive. You know, they make everyone happy. You know, uh, they work for everyone. It's a win-win situation for everyone. So I think uh, when you talk of consumer attitudes and things like that, it is largely not a consumer's imperative. It is also the fact that it's a mentality that's been created. You know, that this is, it's a divide that's been created. Great solutions are always for everybody. You know, yes, of course, there will be a difference in price because of the quality and things like that. But it shouldn't be that a cheap product is ugly looking and a great product is beautiful. You know, in nature, you don't have a come uh, nutrition mila to ganda sa ped ho gaya. Or acha nutrition mila to bhot sundar ped ho gaya. Aisa nahi hota. Sabhi ped sundar hote hain. You know, and that's the same thing with design. So if design is used as a process, the end outcome is always beautiful. Design is always seen as making things look pretty, you know, but actually design starts from the way of thinking. How holistic are you? How inclusive are you? Are you making all parts of the stakeholders winners, you know? So it's just that, you know, is everyone a, in a win-win situation or is only one person winning? You know, so that is the fundamental difference. You know, design is still seen as a cosmetic makeover. It cannot be a cosmetic makeover, it is holistic, it includes policy, it includes capital, it includes ideas, it includes society. What we choose to look at it, at least in our philosophy as the way our company works, okay, uh, is human-centered design. People talk of human-centered design, but then you're separating the human out from the rest of nature, which is the fundamental problem today. You know, when you say humane, it is your connection with nature. You know, so we believe humane-centered design is what is needed, you know. If you look at what is the basic human need, you say food, water, shelter. That's not true anymore, you know. You need energy, you need security, you need safety, you know. Who's, how, what solutions are in, uh, inclusive of all of that, you know. And then you talk about infrastructure, okay. These are all means, okay. It's the reason why we've developed, because I want better food, I use different means. I use technology, I use information, I use education, I use governance. These are all means to achieve every human being getting this. Basic needs, basic hum human needs, you know. And ultimately, what is the impact on? It is on society, on economics and on ecology, you know. Unless all of this and all these stakeholders are sitting together as friends, and discussing ideas and discussing ways in which everyone can win, you know, we are always going to have disparity. I love the energy, you know, everyone who's, we are fortunate, we were actually worried, you know, that are people actually going to take this up, you know, and we got very encouraging responses, like, look at you guys, I mean, you know, the fact that you're interviewing us means that, you know, we're making some difference and I think each one here is so enthused and excited about creating this change because deep down inside don't all of us want this change you know we all want the world to be a better place nature everywhere you look at it is my biggest inspiration you know I think every project we've done is inspired by nature which means physics maths chemistry social sciences literature art it all has to come together. I think nature is the truest, biggest example. I mean, we call it biomimicry, we call it inspired by nature. I think it's all the same, you know. I think that's my biggest inspiration. So, I think there are many, many people who are doing great work across the world. And if you look at it, they are all inspired by nature. So, I think that's what it is, you know. I think if we can take nature as our inspiration, okay, it's also our mother. You know, I think we should just respect it far more than we do. 
you know shouldn't live in our closed rooms closed societies conditioned minds you know who's even made these society rules no one knows who says this is the way it's done you know ye hona chahiye ye sab change ho jayega